Hi everyone and welcome to Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge 2018. Joining the challenge is very easy. All you have to do is forward your full name, school or a company name together with your Fusion 360 email to Autodesk Community Philippines at gmail.com. Welcome everyone to Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge for the month of May. Here's our 2D drawing. Let's start off by creating the inner circle together with our keyway. Let's enter sketch mode by immediately hitting C for circle. So now we are asked what plane we'd like to sketch to. Let's select the XY plane, left click. Let's drop the center point of our circle on our origin. The diameter for this circle is 0.38 inch. So I'm going to type IN at the end, hitting enter. Zooming in, notice that the dimension is converted to millimeters. So let's change this to inches by heading to document settings, change active units, changing the unit type to inch. Hitting OK. Let's create the keyway by hitting R to grab our rectangle, making sure it's two point rectangle. Zooming in, left click here and left click at the circle's intersection. Hitting Escape. Next, hitting L to grab our line. Let's locate the midpoint of this horizontal line so whenever the triangle appears, it's the midpoint. Left click. Let's connect our line to our origin, hitting escape. Let's make this line perfectly vertical by grabbing our vertical constraint. So currently it's now selected. I can right click and select vertical. Next, let's turn this into a construction line. So reselecting our line and hitting X. Let's inspect our two vertical lines if they are symmetrical. So they are confirmed, hitting D for dimension. Let's select the top horizontal line. And this corner endpoint, left click, drop our dimension here, and key in point zero 0.09, hitting enter. Panning, selecting these two vertical lines. Left click here to place our dimension, key in point one 0.19, hitting enter. Hitting escape. Next, let's trim this horizontal line by hitting T to grab our trim tool. Selecting this segment and the segment. Hitting escape. Next, let's inspect our geometry. Selecting this horizontal line and moving this. So notice this endpoint should be coincident with our circle. So selecting coincident. Incident selecting this endpoint and the circumference of our circle. Hitting escape. Let's grab our circle once more, hitting C. Let's drop the center point at the origin. The diameter for this circle is 1.5. Hitting enter. Zooming out. Let's grab our 2D reference. Let's create this construction circle. Hitting C once more, left click at the origin, the diameter for this circle to be 3.25, hitting enter, reselecting our circle, and turning this into a construction circle. Let's now create the four circles, hitting C for circle, let's drop the center point of the circle at this construction circle diameter to be 1 next let's align the center point of the circle together with our origin vertically so heading to constraints selecting horizontal vertical selecting the center point and our origin hitting escape I'm going to zoom out Head to sketch, our intent is to create 
a circular pattern of our circles. So for the object, selecting the circle, activating center point, left click, grabbing our origin or our center point, left click. The quantity to be 6 and hitting OK. So in our 2D drawing, we only have four circles. So we can select this circle, hitting X, making this as a construction circle. Same with this circle, hitting X. Creating another circle, hitting C. And this time, the diameter to be 5, hitting Enter. Creating another circle, right-click, selecting Repeat, Center Diameter Circle. Diameter to be 6. And this outer circle, let's turn this into construction. Moving forward, let's create the teeth of this model. Hitting L for line. This line will serve as a construction line. Left click here, hitting escape. Turning this into construction, hitting X. Let's create a horizontal line. From here, going here, hitting escape. Let's make this into construction, hitting X. Hitting D for dimension, let's create an angle from these two lines. So this one should be 15. Let's create another line from this intersection. Going to this line, left click. And finally, creating a line from this endpoint to this intersection. Left click. Hitting escape. Next, let's turn these two lines perpendicular. Right click, selecting perpendicular. So in this moment, we don't need to add a dimension once more because these two lines creates a 90 degree angle. From here, we can now hit S to grab our sketch toolbox, typing P-A-T-T, and grabbing circular pattern. The objects would be these two lines, selecting this one. So we have two nested items here. I can left click and hold, and then a drop down will appear by hovering. Over these two items, it will highlight, so we need to select the second one. Left click, activating center point, selecting this as our center point, zooming out, our target quantity to be 24. Hitting OK, so it all turned into black, meaning they are fully constrained. And we now have a complete profile. Selecting Stop Sketch and heading to Home View. In the challenge, the thickness of the profiles were not mentioned, meaning we have the creative freedom. So I'm going to hit E for Extrude, selecting this profile. Under Direction, selecting Symmetric and turning this to Whole Length for Measurement. Keying in point 8. Operation new body. Hitting OK. Next, let's turn on the visibility of sketch 1. Hitting E for extrude. Selecting the second profile. Once more, direction symmetric. Measurement to be whole length. Distance to be 0.45. Hitting OK. Grabbing extrude once more. Selecting this outer profile, direction, symmetric, measurement, whole length, distance to be 0.2. Operation, join, hitting OK. Turning off the visibility of our sketch. And congratulations for completing the Fusion 360 monthly challenge for May. This video is brought to you by MSI Workstations. If you are serious about 3D modeling, simulations, and rendering, then MSI Workstations is the beast. Increase your workflow efficiency with MSI Workstations. Thanks for watching and see you in the next Fusion 360 monthly challenge.